Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I'm going to show you how we can use Zoho Books. Down below in the description you will have a timestamp so you can actually skip parts that you understand. So let's start. In the first part I will show you how you can use Dashboard. So in Dashboard I'm going to use a demo account for that. You can see that you got current, you got overdue, current and overdue amount that you are yet to receive from customers and then you got total payables, current and overdue amount that you are yet to pay to your vendors. And then you get the cash flow here that you can see by month. And you can change last 12 months, previous, or this fiscal year. When you scroll down, you can see income and expenses again by month, your top expenses, and then you can see projects here and bank and credit cards and account watch list. You can also create recent updates what was happening. Now, let's go further. So this is how dashboard works. Let's go to items. In items, you can simply click new here. Add a name like book. Choose it as a goods. It's going to be in box. And selling price is going to be like 50. And purchase information can be 40. Account sales. Account cost goods sold. And you just change, add the description here if you want to, and it's pretty much it. Let's go book goods, or you can also add a service if you want to. So like this, while well, I really got it, and I can simply click plus again, and I can add a service here, and add a name, service one. So I'm going to not add units, Selling price can be 100, cost price 50. I can go with the sales and leave it like that. Click save. And voila, this is how you can simply add items here to your Zoho books. Now, when you're going to click on banking, you can simply connect the bank and credit card or you can add it manually. Really simple. And when we go to the demo account, you can see it right here too. So in banking, you just simply, you just add here your bank account. The next thing are sales. In sales, the first thing we are going to do, we are going to add customers. Create a new customer or we can simply import it. Here you just add the primary contact, first name, then you just add a custom like company name, customer display name, you can change that if you want to. Then you're gonna see customer email here, customer phone, website. Then you're going to see other details here about the customer, like currency, opening balance, payment terms, Facebook, Twitter, their address, contact persons for the company, custom fields, reporting tax, and remarks. It's pretty straightforward and pretty simple. Now when I have it, I click save. Right after you do it, you can see like what's next for your customer. And if I'm going to uh, create invoices, I can see it right here. So first I will just create estimate, create a new estimate. Now I'm going to choose a customer. Estimate 0001, reference can be on one, estimate date, okay, expire can be 22. Salesperson, if you want, I can add it. You can manage it. Project name, if you have one, like you can also add it, but we will get to it in time tracking. So we don't have to have also like add it right now. And then we have the item details here. So we got the book or service. So I'm going to add a book. Okay, I can add a select tags. I can add, let's say, 10 book and books. And again, you can add a subject, sell on the project, add the salesperson right here. Then you can add customer notes on right side, find the euro, and I can click on save at draft or save and send. So voila, from to CC, okay. And this is how the estimation looks like.
and I can simply send it. And voila, here we got the estimate. Now what I can do next, I can simply convert it to invoice. I can edit it. I can create a PDF, print it, email, or just click more and I can mark as accepted, mark as decline, clone and delete. Now when I go to invoices, again, I can create a new invoice and it's completely the same thing. I choose a customer. I just add here the number. I can add a salesperson, due date, invoice date, subject, you add it here, and I can add book goods. Let's go 15. I see amount here. I also can add another line. I can see the subtotal here. I can have shipping charges, adjustment, total, terms and conditions, and I, you can also set up the payment gateway. Now I just click here, save and send. And same thing, you can see here, invoice, I can quickly go send. You can also add more emails here. And now, get paid faster with online payment gateways. You can set it if you want to. And now I just send the invoice. I can send it again. I can share it. I can have reminders here. And you have options here to integrate it with Stripe, with a PayPal, so people can actually pay. The next thing are payments received. But what I want to show you is this. I already got the invoice, and it looks exactly the same as we saw it in a draft. Where is all the money? I can go again to unpaid invoices, then credit notes. I can create a credit note if I want to. Select the customer. Reference number again. I can add a salesperson. Again, same thing. I can add book goods. And save as open. And this is a really similar way how we can form invoices. So this is how sales works. It's pretty straightforward, pretty easy. And let's go forward to purchases. In purchases, you're going to see vendors. And this is the exact same process as when in sales. You just click here, create a new vendor. You just add here the name. And I'm going to company name vendor. Marek. Vendor display name. You just choose that. Then you just change the currency if you want to. And again, the same thing. You can add a website here. You can change the address. Contact persons. Custom fields, reporting tags and remarks. And it's the same process and in sales. Click save. Right after the, you do choose expenses. You can just import the expense or record. And right here. You can have date, expense account, 25 euro, amount, you can sell the tax, paid through, owner's equity, vendor, okay, reference number, you can add it, and just click save. So voila, here we got expense. Then we're going to see bills here. And the same thing, create a bill here. Choose a vendor name, choose a bill, order number, bill date, the on receipt, payment terms, and same thing, you just enter the item, you can change the quantity, you can add a discount here, adjustments, if you want to, and then click save as open. Nice. And you see it right here. And this bill is in open status. You can now record payment for this bill. I can click here, record payment. Let's go payment man 20. Payment date, cash, paid through, PD cash. Click save. You can also, as you saw it, you can send email uh, as notifications here. And I can see right here, the payment was made to the bill. And then you can also add the comments in history.
Then you see the payments made here. Then I made the payment 20 euro. Then I can simply click here and create recurring bills. So this is really great. Let's say that I'm going to pay for the internet, right? Or something. That's a recurring bill that you can have. And I would just have here item. And I can have like every month. And I can go with the ends on or, or it, if it's like never expires. And then just click save here. Right. And then you got a vendor credits here. And you can create a vendor credits. If you want to credit note. And again, you add item and the same thing you would save it is open. So this is how purchases works. It's really similar to sales, but instead of invoices, you're going to have bills. Instead of customers, you're going to have vendors. So let's go to time tracking. In time tracking, you can simply click on projects and create a new project. Then just add a project name like project one, add a description. You can change, you can choose the customer, add a billing method here based on project hours and rate per, per hour. I can go like, let's go 15. Then I have the budget here that I can change because budget would be like 100. Revenue 150. User, I can add multiple users here and add emails. And then I can have like tasks here, like what needs to be done. Then I just click save. And right here I can see. So I get a project one, mark a stone. Then I can see the project hours, billable hours, unbilled hours, users. I can go timesheets, purchases sales journals and related lists in here i can edit it if i want to i can lock time so i can go with a project name okay task i can simply add a new task let's go with project task Opa. i need to edit it time span can be let's go with one hour Billable, add notes, users, downman, save. And now I can see here unbuild. So you can simply click start. And now in the left bottom corner, it's going to increase. I can click stop. Then I can go with the overview. And I can see here. So locked hours, one hour. Right, pretty simple. Again, you go to timesheets and I can see it here and you can edit, clone or delete it. On the right top corner, you can see new transaction and you can create estimate invoice, recurring invoice, credit note or purchases. Or you can add a task or add a different user. Now when you go to timesheets, again, you would see it for everything. So time tracking is really simple and really intuitive and anyone can use it and I really think that if you just create one project you know exactly how to use it. The last two things I want to show you is accountant and reports. In accountant you can simply create new journals, notes, you just add here the date, the journal, the reference number if you have one. You can have it also cash based, cash based journal and then you can select the month And you can simply uh, move with debits and credits between two accounts. And it's like really simple. So this is how journal works in Zoho. Then you gotta see the book update. Between accounts, you can have currency transactions and adjustments. This is something that many accounting software doesn't have. Then you have chart of accounts here. Then again, the same things. You can add a new account, budget. You can create it if you want to. And transaction logging.
so you can like log the sales so there are not going to be any transactions at all and then the last thing is our reports and reports uh you can simply this is really straightforward you have business already profit and loss here and you can export as pdf export you can export it also as a pdf with a password and voila here you got it then you got sales by customer sales by item the same thing and reports are really easy to understand then last thing are documents that you can like upload files here as a box and then you can configure features list like what you're gonna actually see enable the modules required for your business price list sales order purchase orders and you can like enable things here if you want to so thank you very much everybody for watching if you have any questions guys ask me down in comments i'm really happy to help you zoho books is really simple and really easy to understand and i think that with this video you know exactly what to do and if you want to go deeper i definitely recommend like check it with customer support and yeah and again but if you have any questions just ask me down in the comments because it's really simple you just click here on the quick create and you're good to go so have a great day guys and goodbye see you